In this reaction, we have NaOH plus Cl2, and we want to balance it. Let's count the atoms up on each side. So we have one sodium atom, we have one oxygen, one hydrogen, and two chlorines. Over on the product side of the equation, we have one sodium, we have one oxygen. Be careful, we have one here as well, one plus one. That gives us two oxygens. Hydrogens, we have two of those. Chlorines, we have the one here. And again, there's another one here. So that gives us two. And I also made a mistake. I have one sodium here. I forgot this sodium right here. So you can see how forgetting one of those could make it really difficult to balance. It looks like I have one hydrogen and then two hydrogens, one oxygen, two oxygens, one sodium, two sodiums. If I could just double all of these here, that would balance the equation. And here's NaOH. So let's put a coefficient of two in front of the NaOH. That means one times two. That'll give us two sodiums. Those are balanced. Oxygens, one times two. That gives us two. So the oxygens are balanced. And remember, this two applies to everything here in this NaOH, in this sodium hydroxide compound. So the hydrogen, one times two. That gives us two. And the hydrogens are balanced. And now everything is balanced in this equation. Where people usually have problems, and even I had a little bit of a problem with it, you have to remember to count all of the sodiums. You have one here and one here. All of the oxygens, you have one here, one here. And then all of the chlorines, there's one here and one here. If you forget one of those, it's very difficult to balance this equation. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation of NaOH plus Cl2 gives us NaCl plus NaClO plus H2O. Thanks for watching.